Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and day 25 of our Inktober journey. Uh, my dog is snoring in the background, so pardon the extra noise. I've been trying to record this for about an hour and he's just decided that he's going to sit here until I give up and go to bed because he wants to cuddle. So I apologize for the dog stores in the background. Today's video is going to be, or well today's piece is going to be set up like the Krampus one. We're going to have a part one and a part two, um, partly because I ran out of the ink that I was using and <laughs> yeah. I ran out of ink, which is something that I wasn't anticipating. Um, now, I probably could have brush pinned this, but I just didn't... The way that it was in the sketchbook, I knew that I, like, as soon as I finished the sketch, I knew what I wanted to do with it, and it was something that I couldn't accomplish with just the brush pin. So, you will see what I'm talking about towards the end of the video, but... Um, I also thought that if I did use a brush pen or color the whole thing in digitally, it wouldn't go with the whole aesthetic of the book. Like I wanted to keep using the ink washes just because the whole book set up that way. So I didn't want to like change my medium now. Um, and I didn't color it digitally. Um, this is probably a really weird reason why, but I don't like not having an original like I don't want an original file I want an original piece that I can hold in my hand and you just can't get that with digital art and I think that's one of the reasons why I will never become a straight-up digital artist but I absolutely love setting up my composition digitally and in the procreate app and using the um, the iPad Pro and the Apple pencil and that's why I bought the iPad Pro was because I wanted the portability of it and I was in a really weird mood today and I couldn't figure out what to draw again. <laughs> so I started cleaning my house a little bit and then I realized it was Friday and then it was going to be pointless because the kids will be home all weekend trashing it. So I immediately scrapped that idea and I decided, well I didn't decide, I realized that all October long, I haven't watched any horror movies. So what I did was I grabbed my sketchbook, I grabbed my iPad, and my cola erase pencils and all of that good stuff. And I sat up in there with a nice cup of coffee, and I turned on Netflix, and I decided to give The Haunting of Hill House a try on Netflix. And oh my god, am I addicted to that show. Holy crap, like I didn't even think that I was going to like it, but it turned out to be so good. And I just kept kept doodling and like once I sketched it, I took a photo of it and uploaded that to Procreate and then I got this whole idea and I just decided to kind of make a day of it. And as long as you guys had a video today, I figured you guys would be cool with it and like I said, I just I feel like it wouldn't have gone with the book if it was colored in digitally or if it was if I used a brush pen and just a brush pen because that's all I had. Um, so I decided to just do it this way, make this video, enjoy my horror movie little marathon thing that I was having, and then do this piece properly when my ink comes tomorrow. And the idea that I had was that I wanted him to be kind of whole, like I wanted a floating gold coin to be like floating above his hand. And my goal is to make that glow. I have no idea how I'm going to do it, but I'm very excited to give it a try. And like, I apologize that I didn't just brush pin this, but I really wanted the book to look nice. And we made it this far and <laughs> I feel like we might as well just keep up the quality of art and just go with it from there. Um, I do have my mom's birthday on Sunday, so there probably will not be a video Sunday. If there is, it will be late. So just from now until the, the live stream on November 3rd, 
we're gonna get all caught up on these videos we're gonna make sure we get them all done but there are certain things that I can't really avoid like tomorrow I have to go pick up my kids prescription and I actually have to go get a PO box so I can actually mail the winners their prizes so those are things that I unfortunately have to do and then for one of the pieces I actually have to go because it's based on my scary story and it's in my area so I actually need to go to said place and take a reference photo so I can do that art piece so between now and November 3rd we will have all 31 videos you guys will have officially 31 entries and then we're going to be doing a sketchbook tour and then we will have the live stream so I hope that is okay with you guys um, I'm not trying to kill myself to get these videos up and the views they keep going down because YouTube it takes YouTube to, like three days to figure out that I posted a video and then send it out to my subscribers so I figured I would kind of prolong this all the way up until November 3rd just to give people chances that did want to enter chances to enter and you know just kind of do what we got to do from there so here is a picture of the final sketch and I will be inking him tomorrow. The word of the day is pinned in the comments. Here's the Inktober collaboration playlist and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and um, Courtney said that she should have two to three videos up to by tomorrow for you guys. So make sure you check her channel out as well. Thank you guys so much for your support. It means so much to us and we will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.